Let's talk for a moment about discouragement. If I'm asked how to get rid of discouragements, I can only say that we've all had so many uh, discouragements and we have wrestled with them and when we wrestled with them and gave them attention, they seemed to get bigger, didn't they? Instead of lessening. So many wrong habits are in our lives, especially mental wrong habits, and we must give them up. It is never worthwhile to argue against discouragement. There is only one argument that will meet it, and that is the argument of God. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any discouragement. God is bigger than any challenge that we'll ever face. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says, The Lord is the one, the one, who will go before you. God will be with you. God will not leave you or forsake you. Do not be afraid or discouraged. When we fail to meet the expectations of others, or for that matter, this may be even bigger, the expectations that we have of ourselves, we may be tempted to abandon hope in that moment. But on those cloudy days when our strength is sapped and our faith is shaken, there exists a source from which we can draw courage and wisdom. That source that is so reliable and always there is God. When we pursue a more intimate and a dynamic relationship with our Creator, God renews our spirits. God restores our souls. God's promise in Isaiah 40:30 is clear. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Upon this promise, you can depend, I can depend, we can depend. God is always there. So when you're trying to argue against a bad habit, especially the bad habit of discouragement, well, the best argument in the world is God.